A post-mortem will be conducted into Queensland Labor's resounding by-election defeat on the weekend to assess the effectiveness of Premier Stephen Miles ahead of the October state election. State Labor MPs are concerned they'll lose their seats in the October election after the LNP's Darren Zanow won the traditionally safe seat of Ipswich West during Saturday's by-election, one of them. The Miles government did manage to keep the other one, former Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk's seat of Inala, but in doing so, it suffered a 21% swing. Queensland Premier Stephen Miles under pressure to do more now to tackle the state's youth crime crisis by members of his own party ahead of the state election, but he's running out of time. Holding on to particularly Ipswich West was always going to be very hard. I said that. Um, this result, these results are clearly very bad. Uh, I was expecting a bad result and they're even worse than that, clearly. They wanted to send us a message that we need to work harder, particularly on cost of living and on community safety. As revealed by Sky News, South East Queenslanders are resorting to paying for private security to combat the state's youth crime crisis as police numbers shrink. Opposition leader David Crisofulli says the government is paying a heavy price over its failure to tackle the burning issue. As we listen to people uh, come forward in what is Labor Party heartland, the message was overwhelming, and that is that there is a cost of living crisis in Queensland. There is a youth crime crisis in Queensland. People are struggling to keep a roof over their head in the housing crisis. And when it comes to health, our frontline staff are buckling under the pressure.